Welcome back. I hope you were able to set up your boilerplate using Create React App successfully in the previous video. If not, feel free to put it in the comment section so that, so that I can go through the errors that you are facing and help you out. So if you were able to run this command successfully, you should be able to see something like this. You will have a folder created with the name of flash type. And in that folder, there will be all of these things which we already discussed in the first episode of an app a month. So in this video, we are going to revisit the JSX React components and all the features and the all the basics of React that we studied in the previous episode where we built the naming application. And after that, we are also going to download our assets to keep our environment ready and start coding. So let's get started. So first of all, I want you to understand this particular folder structure here, which we already discussed in the first video. In case you haven't, do check it out. My first project, which was Name It Application in the AAM series. You can go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the lean programmer and find the whole series there. All right, so let's discuss it. So first of all, readme is nothing but uh, the description of your project. So I can type in flash type here and package.json again contains, we are going to go through this very quickly this time. So the package of the package.json contains all the information about our project. For example, the name version, the dependencies it's used, the scripts we would use to do various things like start the application, build the project, run our test suits and on so on. Dot get ignore file. You might already be aware of that this basically ignores the files from version control. Then public folder, which contains all our public assets and uh, more or less, we are not going to change these things a lot, but I'll just rename this thing here to flash type so that it has the title of flash type. You already know that in HTML inside head, we have this title where we can type it out as uh, whatever we can see on the title of our web page. Then our main code is placed inside src directly directory. So let's do one thing. Let's delete all of these things. Since a lot of you asked me previously that you were not able to fully understand what the index.js file contained. So I have deleted everything present there. And now I want you to see inside this index.html, there's this div with the ID of root. So this is nothing but a selector an ID selector with the root. So what I am going to do here is I am going to create a new file, not inside public, but inside SRC because our code lives inside SRC directory and inside the SRC, I am going to first of all, import my react. Also, I am going to import react Dom from react Dom. So now let's use this method provided to us by react dom, which is react dom dot render. And this render method basically does nothing but takes in a JSX or an HTML element and puts it inside the place of or some div, which is present inside our index.html as simple as that. I'll tell you once again, this render method does nothing, but it takes in a HTML or a JSX element and places it inside a div tag of which we are going to provide the location or the uh, or the ID or this selector basically. And then very simple, let me type in h1 and I am going to type in let's say hello world and I am going to so this first argument was the HTML or you can also say it can also contain a JSX. So yes, the first argument is nothing but that HTML or JSX. And the second argument is nothing but the location of where do we have to place it. So if we, let's select the this particular element using our native JavaScript features, which is document dot get element by ID. And the ID of this element is root. So I'm just going to type in document dot get element by ID and going to provide the ID which is root as simple as that. And now we can very easily start our application using npm space start. 
and as you will be seeing here this will render our hello world on our screen so in, for the people who were not able to understand it clearly in the previous videos in the previous project that we made so this was the explanation of react tom dot render now as you can see it is already present on our localhost 3000 and hello world is appearing here so now instead of h1 let's have another app jsx app component so inside my src as always i am going to create a components directory and inside the components i am going to structure every component inside every component inside its own folder so for app the folder name is going to be the app and i am going to name the file as app.jsx and i am also going to name uh, have a app.css file so this app.jsx is going to be again very simple i am going to import the react and then i am going to create a class based component named app which is going to extend our react.component and again it's going to have a render method and inside that render method let's uh, return my html let's say h1 and i'm going to say hey there my name is Madhav, and let's export default as app as simple as that and now we can basically import it inside our index.js and instead of showing h1 to screen i can show my app to screen but we have to import that first how to do that very simple import app from the relative path which is components slash app slash app as simple as that and now you will be able to see once we refresh the page hey there my name is Martha so this was very very simple uh, uh, methodology behind how do we use this render method and what all is present inside our index.js for everyone who was confused in this particular thing in the previous project that we made i hope that this is clear now and for people i noticed that some people were having trouble understanding what is jsx jsx is nothing but a syntactic sugar for the methods that react library provides us basically react provides us with react.create element method so basically this every time you write some html inside your javascript if you would have to do this thing it would become very complex let me give you an example let's say i am taking this and then inside this i'm making an unordered list of uh let's say my elements and the list element is first li and then second third fourth so this is going to become very very huge so this is nested as you can see the value the third parameter which was the third argument which used to be the value it's now another react.create element and in that the value is another react.create element and that is very 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 bad to write so that would be very difficult to write so that is why we use this syntactic sugar or that is why we use the syntax which is jsx so i hope that you are very very clear with jsx also now it's as simple as that inside our jsx we can use html so jsx is nothing but html inside javascript so before ending this video let us do one more thing very very quickly let us download all the static assets which we are going to use in our react application that we are going to build so firstly we would need this particular logo which is a sort of flash logo which if you remember that we used it inside the nav navigation bar at the top of our, our, our project so to download that you can go to the lean programmer.com slash assets slash flash type slash logo dot png and now i'll go back to my project and i'll do one thing i'll create another folder inside my src and i'll name it assets so inside that assets basically let me do one more thing let me uh, copy the path of this thing here i will just do a right click here and save image as and inside my folder i am going to 
uh, download this logo so I already have it downloaded similarly with our with our the hero image which is the flash image the URL for this image is the leanprogrammer.com slash assets slash flash type slash hero dot png just save image as and I am going to save it as let's say flash so it would be flash dot png as simple as that so now we have two images and just one last thing before ending this video let's also download the fonts that we are going to use in our project so as you might see here in this project we have used this font and this font we basically have used two fonts here so for getting these fonts basically these fonts are nothing but one first font is poppins so you can just type in you can go to google fonts which is fonts.google.com i repeat myself you can just go to fonts.google.com i can go back here and once you are on fonts.google.com you can simply search in these fonts which is poppins so if you go inside poppins this is the one which we are using for this one so this is a very cool font and this can be very easily used so what i want you to do now is i want you to select as many font weights as you want for me i think font weight of 200 and font weight of 400 and font weight of 600 i think these would be good enough now let's select one more font which was this font so this the name of this font is bangers uh, let me go back here and let me type bangers yeah and let us select this as well so this is only regular 400 so this will be very simple i'll just select this font and now what we can do is we can copy and paste this link that google fonts provides us and paste it inside our index.html anywhere would do let's do that here and we are done in our next video we will start styling our navigation bar and probably our landing page as well see you in the next video bye bye